It's 9 o'clock on Friday the 11th of April on RT1 and RT News Now. This is Morning Edition. The Herald also reports that Seamus Daly on Seamus Daly being charged with the OMA bombing. From Monaghan, Daly has previously been found liable for the bombing in a civil case. Well, those are the headlines. I'm joined now by Al Dunn and by Rachel Kane. Um, thank you both very much indeed for coming into us this morning. Um, we, we'll just start briefly, I suppose, at the ESRI report. It's great to see some good economic news coming out. I mean, I know Sean was saying they've been optimistic before, but it is good news. It, it's great news. And I mean, even as, as a business owner, I can see it anecdotally between uh, our clients and, and in our business itself. Really? And absolutely. Since last, last summer was quiet enough, but come September, it was like somebody turned on, opened the floodgates, if you like, you know, and it hasn't stopped since. Touch wood if we have some more here. <laughs> and I'm hearing the same from clients. I was talking to, uh, we, we had a client down in Clare Morris with the Taoiseach on, um, on, on Monday, and he was saying, you know, they're seeing growth. Uh, and various other clients are seeing like some serious growth in different in different uh, in different industries. That's fantastic, I mean, and that kind of confidence—it's very important to have confidence to perpetuate that growth as I think well. Isn't you it? have to be optimistic anyway, mm. but um, you have to be realistic as well. It is it is great to see. It's mm. great to see. And I mean, again. You look at the Indo this morning. There's a 12-page property supplement in the yeah. Indo. Two years ago, was there a page in there? Yeah, it's true. And the Irish Times on a Thursday has been growing yeah. and growing over recent months. No, I don't know whether that's good news or bad news. We don't necessarily <laughs> yeah. want to go back there. But, yeah, I mean, know. there's flip sides. But, I mean, to have some economic growth is, is, is terrific, even... Um, <laughs> predictions of it but listen it kind of um, it ties in doesn't it speaking of property Rachel you've been looking at uh, Nal Quinn absolutely yeah, just, yeah. I'll hold this house up he's selling he has a fabulous uh, mansion worth well they're valuing it at 2.5 million euro and it's gone up for sale just outside Nace in County Kildare uh, fabulous spread apparently they're downsizing and um, they're suffering from empty nest syndrome uh, uh, Niall Quinn and his wife is uh, so basically their two their two kids are heading off to college and uh, they're very lonely um, it's an absolutely huge house look at the stables as well this I'll tell you there is six bedrooms a tennis court stables uh, multiplied by ten uh, a hot tub outdoors uh, indoor bar grand piano uh, horse walker and an all-weather arena. Horse walker? Horse walker, yes, because wow. I, we couldn't, one couldn't possibly lead their horse around. There's a fair few horses so, to need a yeah, horse 30 walker. 30 acres. And, um, but Gillian does say that, like, let's not lose the, lose the run of themselves now. They're not going to be do, going to two up, two down because she still has 10 dogs to house. Wow, uh, in her that's new amazing, isn't it? That's, that's a whole other world, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> um, what about the, um, the person, Seamus Daly, there has been charged uh, in the criminal, uh, criminal charges for the Oma bombing? It's an interesting development, that, It isn't surely it? is, and it's showing, obviously, there's an awful lot of movement going on uh, in investigations at the moment. He was arrested by the PSNI serious crime branch on Monday. Now, he is up, he is in court today, uh, facing a total of 33 charges. They, are, they include 29 counts of murder, which obviously are the 29 people who were killed uh, in the Oma bombing in 1998, uh, which is 16 years ago, which seems, wow, amazing, you know. Um, so, and that obviously included a woman who was pregnant with twins. Uh, there's also uh, two charges linked with the explosion and a further two counts linked on an attempted explosion in Lisburn in April 1998, which would have been four months prior to the Oma bombing. Um, so basically, obviously, this is the Oma bombing represents the single bloodiest terrorist attack in all of the troubles. Um, and this man could be the first ever to be actually charged mm. or he has been charged or but to be found guilty of, of murdering. It does people. seem there's quite a lot of activity going on with the PSNI at the moment. I saw there was another arrest in relation to the McConville case yesterday. yesterday. I mean, it seems to be there's certainly haven't left these cases and alive. Th there's obviously new information coming across because if, if, if this guy was involved uh, and they had the information before, they didn't have enough information before. So there's obviously new information coming on all uh, lots of different cases. Yeah, that's uh, you'd love to know the sources, wouldn't you? Mm. Well, we'll see. We'll leave for now. <coughs> but um, what about the um, HSE? This is the Tommy flu drug. Uh, I, Al, I think you've been looking at this one. Um, the basically. You know, it's it's an influenza drug. It's a drug that's meant to make the flu a little less. Uh, and painful. the H the HSE are, are there trying to do their best and have these drugs in stock in case there's a pandemic. And uh, they bought an awful lot of Tamiflu. I mean, it's not as much as they bought in the UK, um, but it doesn't work effectively. Is what they're saying. What they're saying is it it will take away the symptoms for a half a day. So you, you you'll it, it, lose your symptoms instead of being a, a week. It's going to be six and a half days, or obviously in a man's case, uh, you know, uh, twenty <laughs> or thirty years. days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it, it's just not effective. Um, yeah. And I think, you know, it, their independent trials were done. 
um, which which led to this. It, back in 2009, they, the, 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 the people who were doing the trials didn't, weren't able to get access to the trials that were done by the people who made the drug which probably would have told them the same thing. So they, the HSE and the, they're, they're the same people in the UK have been buying this since then, uh, not knowing, but they could have known. You'd have to say that this will probably go back to the drug manufacturers, though, because if, I mean, you can't blame that. If the information wasn't there oh, and wasn't readily available to say that the drug didn't work, well, well they were right to buy it, because yeah. it's, it's a very serious condition, the flu. But you'd wonder, will the drug company be forced to refund the HSE, indeed the NHS, if uh, if their data was misleading. Highly unlikely. <laughs> Well, yeah, would, I mean, when are these people ever held? Likely. But I'm 40. But they, the the HSE have enough of this drug to cover 40 percent of the entire population in the case of a pandemic. And interestingly, um, about two million euros worth of the drug was destroyed in 2012 because it had uh, passed Gone out of date. Mm. expiry date. But I suppose that's so, part of planning for an epidemic, isn't it? It is. That, um, but I mean, there seems to be a little bit of a suggestion that the HTC bad move, the knee-jerk reaction and bought in all the, these drugs uh, on the basis of information that wasn't fully complete. So, yeah. you know, there is that side of things, but I mean, look, what are you going to do? But equally, can you remember how worried we all were the, when we were yeah. hearing about the swine flu and, 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 they, and they the impact only, those influenza epidemics They can only work the on the best information that they have yeah. at the time. Well, that's You've got to be fair to them as yeah. well, you know? Yeah. It's true. Um, what about this story that a third of parents take their children out of school for holidays? And you can see where they do it, it's cheaper if you do it off feet. <clears throat> well, I can't talk, I've done it. Um, but <laughs> it, it does, it, it will save you an awful lot of money. You yeah. know, I mean, the, there's one holiday to, to France, I think. Uh, what was the, the Disneyland. figures? Disneyland. Yeah. Trip to Disneyland uh, was 30% more expensive during the Easter holidays. Flights alone were 86% more expensive. Oh my God. So, like. And the other thing is, when you get to the destination, there aren't quite as many yes. of <clears> other people's <throat> children kids. there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's. You can't blame parents mm. for, for doing this. But they, I mean, I suppose the point. Because you don't have to go to Disneyland, though. Well, do you? you don't, yeah. yeah. No. But, like, anywhere. I mean, God, look for a flight to Spain or. Yeah, anywhere. even a hotel down the country. That's here, I mean, the, prices, the prices will go up if you check it on kind of the last week in June in comparison with the first week in July. Yeah. There's a big yeah. difference in prices and flights and hotels and everything. Easter holidays. Yeah. The, whole, yeah. the, whole point today. Today, yeah. the whole point of this was that um, attendance, the point they're making why people shouldn't is because attendance is the biggest indicator of educational outcomes. So they're kind of saying take your kids out on holidays mm. and they'll suffer education. At your own power. Yeah. Mm. They are saying you should do something cultural though. If you do take them out, I'm just mm. trying to make excuses for myself here, but <laughs> <clears throat> if you do something cultural Guilt. that will... Uh, Too late, Al. Yeah, okay. You messed up there. <laughs> um, listen, thank you both very much indeed for coming in to us this morning. Um, now it is time for the sports news and Ivan Nikula Nik Keelan is with us. Ivan, all eyes on Augusta this morning. Yes, indeed, Keelan, all eyes on Augusta. American Bill Haas holds a one-shot lead over a group, including the defending champion Adam Scott.